Hello everyone, I'm Kirk with USA Measurements and today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the US 1011 indicator with our E-Tech Floor Series. Now usually when you order the uh, E-Tech scale, uh, the indicator you receive will already be calibrated but for instance, say your indicator uh, is bro uh, breaks and you have to order a new one, um, you will have to recalibrate that indicator or you'll receive a message as shown today. So you turn on your indicator. And you will see this error message pop up. Now, in order to calibrate the scale and uh, get it back to normal weighing mode, you're going to want to hold the hold button. Now you'll see uh, F1 is the function screen. Go ahead and hit enter, which will be the print button. Now I'll bring it to function 1.1, hit the enter button again. Now this is the parameters, the capacity at which you'll set the scale. Uh, it normally comes in at 10,000 pounds, so that's what we'll do today. Uh, you can toggle with the buttons, shown as the arrows. Okay, so then we hit enter with the print button. Next, we'll go up to function 1.2, hit enter. And then that brings us to our decimal places. So for the purposes of this video, we only want, uh, we don't want any decimal places, we want a whole number. So we're gonna toggle down to just the zero. And then we'll hit enter again. Now we'll go up to function 1.3, we'll hit enter. And this will take us to our number of divisions. So if you want measuring by uh, ones, two, five, ten. So we're going to stick with one. So we're going to hit enter. Uh, now we're going to go up to function 1.4. We're going to hit enter. And this will bring us to our calibration unit. Now, whether it's being measured in kilograms or pounds, the zero will mean it's going to be measured in kilograms. We want pounds, so we're going to move up to one. And we'll hit enter. Now we'll go up to function 1.5, we'll hit enter. Uh, here is the gravitational acceleration, so we're not going to change that, so that's going to stay the same, hit enter. Next, we'll move up to function 1.6, we'll hit enter. This is going to be our empty, the scale. We want to make sure there's nothing on the scale at this point, so we can find our zero point, hit enter. And you'll see the countdown while it captures the zero point. Uh, now we'll go up to the last part of this function. Um, seven, we'll hit enter. Uh, now you will load the scale with a known weight that you have. Uh, usually you want a, at least 10% of the capacity. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we'll be loading 100 pounds to calibrate. So I'm gonna take these weights. Once we have that loaded, we'll hit enter. And now you'll want to enter in the amount of weight you have on put on the scale. So we have 100, put 100 pounds, and then we'll hit enter. Now we'll do a countdown while it becomes stable. It captures that weight and the amount. And we will be displayed. Now you're all finished, you want to hit the back button or the hold button twice, or no, just press it twice. So once, twice, and it'll bring us back to the original screen. Now the, the scale should be calibrated. I'm going to take off one of the weights, and you'll see that it's now 50 pounds. If I take off another, it'll be an even zero. Now, if I put back on one of the weights, just to check to see if the scale is properly calibrated, and it looks like it is. So, this is how you set up your scale to get back to normal weighing mode. Now, I'm going to double check to see that we did everything right by turning off the indicator turning it back on to make sure we don't get that error screen again. Great, so there it is. We fixed the problem. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach us on our website, this YouTube video. You can comment, like, uh, subscribe if you will, please. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.